David Truly, known as the Barefoot Professor, plays in a local band near Lake Chapala in central Mexico. He wrote his PhD dissertation on the migration of retirees to this area. Kind of a range between maybe 8,000 to about 15, 16,000 full-timers. And then, um, but in the winter, it can blow up in just this community to maybe 30,000. Mexico's largest lake is surrounded by emerald green mountains. The village of Ajijic draws artists and writers. Cobblestone streets are dotted with galleries and restaurants serving international cuisines. No Spanish, no problem. With Hawaii's latitude and Denver's altitude, the temperate climate has attracted retirees for decades. Mexicans have traditionally taken elderly relatives into their own homes, so the demand for assisted living and nursing care wasn't high until foreigners, many of them Americans, flocked here. Now they are getting older and they need more care. People are not just aging here, but for the first time, they're staying here and they're not returning home, so they're aging and dying in place here. When 81-year-old John Simmons' doctor told him he shouldn't live alone, he came here to Abbeyfield, an independent senior living facility. His one-bedroom casita sits in a lush garden near a lap pool and a covered patio. I love the light. I love the cross ventilation. I like the kitchen tucked away. And so it gives me room for an office. And of course the views out the windows with all the wonderful plants. The landscaping here I think is fantastic. The average cost for independent living in the United States is about $2,500 a month. Here... The rent, including all utilities, connections for internet, television, all of those things, plus three meals a day, just a little over $1,000 a month. One reason for the cost difference, labor is cheaper. The minimum wage is just 70 pesos, or less than $5 a day. For those who need a bit more care, there's been a boom in assisted living and nursing homes. 72-year-old Rosemary Grayson came here from Wales. She made headlines 50 years ago as the first Playboy centerfold from the United Kingdom, and later went on to be a journalist. I was burnt out. I was in a state of near nervous breakdown. Lakeside Care put me together again. Ron Langley is a Floridian whose Mexican wife has a degree in geriatric care. Together, they run Lakeside Care. He's proud of the food he serves and the caregivers he employs. They have a great respect for the elderly, and they will go out of their way to help an elderly person. The people here have compassion written into their DNA. They do it before they know it. The caring is just like a being in an extended family. Assisted care like this in the United States averages about $3,800 a month, and nursing homes can cost upwards of $7,000. Langley charges between $1,400 and $2,000 a month for meals, cleaning, laundry, and more. The only other thing that a patient or a resident here would pay for would be their medicines and their doctor. And that raises a potential concern. Does the area have top-notch health care? A new hospital just opened on the lake. Though Medicare benefits don't apply in Mexico, doctor's visits and prescriptions are often less than copays back home. And Mexico's second largest city is just an hour away. We are very close to Guadalajara, which can, can really be considered to kind of a medical hub of, of Latin America at some of the finest medical colleges. You know, there's like three universities there. Hello there. The Lake Chapala area is beginning to draw younger retirees, and some are bringing mom or dad along. 64-year-old Mark Woolley and his wife Anne bought a house here a year and a half ago. When his 86-year-old mother, Kempi McKenna, came for a visit, she liked what she saw and chose a room at Abbeyfield. The second time I came, I came with suitcases. It's so relaxing. You look at the sun going down, the birds are up there, the flowers are blooming. It's just lovely. And we're just sitting and chatting. She always considered it more like uh, old age storage. You know, a lot of the homes in the United States, um, and they weren't very nice. And these are literally homes here that uh, people live in and, and retire in and with, with a bunch of friends. Senior care is a cottage industry in the Lake Chapala area now. There's little oversight, no government regulation, no scheduled inspections. Many homes appear well run, but there's no guarantee, so it's buyer beware. 
Most places have just a handful of rooms, but that's about to change. We, we want to create a, a retirement community with all the services related with the aging in place. Dr. Trino Zabetta is working on a new large-scale development. This is assisted living uh, apartment that is going to be here. He expects to break ground later this year on a $35 million U.S.-style community, eventually housing 350 people, offering independent living, assisted nursing, and memory care. Whether those plans succeed may depend on whether Mexico can overcome an image problem. The drumbeat of news about drug cartel violence has included the 2012 kidnapping and killing of 18 Mexican nationals near Ajajic, and the U.S. State Department warns citizens to exercise caution in the state of Jalisco. But none of that worries Rosemary Grayson. You're a lot, lot safer than I felt in the U.K. and certainly in the U.S. I think they said 100, people, 100 Americans were killed in Mexico last year. Um, and they've now said that it's not a safe destination. Well, you tell me how many safe destinations in the city of, the, of, of America there are. And one more concern. Life moves at a slower pace here. Manana could be manana or the day after manana or a week after manana. Um, you know, there is something to be said for the kind of laid back, almost, um, you know, wake me up when we're ready mentality. Still, the thriving foreign community has lured baby boomers. The Lake Chapala Society, in business for 60 years, offers services for expats and others, from free eye exams to bridge to book clubs and volunteer opportunities. Mark and Ann Woolley can imagine themselves at Abbey Field. Oh, we're putting our name on the list here. If the Woolies are any indication, Mexico can expect an influx of Americans crossing the border for retirement.